All right, you guys, so we're going to check out a really interesting plugin here on Figma called Ruri Lines. Now, basically, it has a lot of options creating these embossed or debossed lines. I also did a tutorial on this, how you can make this in Illustrator, by the way. I'm going to leave a link in the description. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's open up Figma and we're going to go here to the actions, click on it, and let's go to the plugins and widgets. And all you need to do is search here for Ruri Lines. And it's going to appear here. Click on it. And all you need to do is just click on Run. And here, the first thing you can do is change up the image. You can go upload file and you can upload a PNG or JPEG. For example, in this situation, I'm going to select the Louis Vuitton logo, click on open, and it's going to update it with the new logo. And as you can see at the options here, we've got the weight. So if you increase it, it's going to make the lines thicker. I got to decrease it somewhere around three. And here we got the lines. This is going to increase or decrease the copies of the lines. So make sure to increase it nice and high. And then here we got the lift. So this is going to emboss or deboss. So I'm going to emboss it. And to make it more realistic looking, you got this handle with the smoothness. Make sure to increase it a little bit. And it's going to smoothen out these sharp corners all around the logo. So that's really good. Then you got the show mask. I don't know what is this for. And then you got the baselines here. Basically, these are the interior lines. So basically, there's like two type of lines here. So you got the lighter one outside and then you also got the darker one. So here you got the sensitivity of it. If you decrease it, you can see it is going to extend all the way. If you increase it, it is going to try to separate itself until it is going to disappear. And then you also got the invert. This is going to invert the contrast of the lines. So you got the lighter one inside and the darker one outside. You also got the horizontal option. Now this is going to display it horizontal, which is actually pretty good. And about least, you also got the dynamic weight. So this is going to do a blend in between the thin and thick lines. And if I go here to the weight of the lines and increase it, you can see it better, but it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to go back to normal. And you also got the inverse of weight. Then you also got here the dots and check this out. This is pretty good also. And it's going to recreate this whole effect made from dots. I'm going to increase the lines. So this way it's going to be more intense and I'm going to lift it a little bit more maybe and decrease the weight and also increase the smoothness. So yeah, it's a pretty cool effect you can experiment with. And I think on these settings, it actually looks the best. And if you want to export it, you get the PNG or SVJ. I'm going to select the SVJ and click on export. And pretty much that's how you use this really nice plugin in Figma that's uh, kind of useful actually. Thanks for watching.